Welcome to Global Ocean TV, brought to you by the Terramar Project. I am today's host, Rob Foose. Here are the headlines. European Union scores Pacific protections for manta and devil rays. Fishing nations at the annual meeting of the Inter-American Tropical Tuna Commission have taken concrete groundbreaking steps to conserve Eastern Pacific manta and devil rays, but unfortunately failed to reach consensus on proposals to strengthen the region's ban on shark finning, the barbaric practice of slicing off a shark's fins and discarding the body at sea, or on bids to curb fishing of hammerhead and silky sharks. Big problems for the food chain, tiny plankton are snacking on plastic. An estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic makes its way into the oceans every year, according to a study from the University of California at Santa Barbara's National Center for Ecological Analysis and Synthesis. And the effect of plastic microbeads, found in toothpaste and exfoliants, and microplastics on microscopic marine life is unknown. But thanks to filmmaker Verity White, we can clearly see that zooplankton are ingesting the microplastics along with their normal diet of phytoplankton. Yeti crab discovered in the Southern Ocean scientifically described for the first time. Published in the journal Plus One at the end of June, the study focused on the hydrothermal vent systems of the East Scotia Ridge in the Southern Ocean, near Antarctica. In this world of underwater hot jets, the Yeti crab thrives, numbering more than 700 specimens per square meter near the hydrothermal vents. These scientists have now described this creature for the very first time. British pair attempting world record for rowing Indian Ocean rescued, again. Two Englishmen attempting to break the world record for rowing across the Indian Ocean have been rescued for a second time. On their first attempt in May, the duo aborted their bid just one day into the journey after electronic guidance systems failed. This time, the pair ran into bad weather. Giant Larvation In this episode of Weird Fins, all about strange stuff in the sea, brought to you by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, we learn about larvations, animals with a primitive spinal cord but no real backbone, that live in the open ocean and create sticky mucus balloons that are really big filters for feeding. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch and tune back in tomorrow for the best ocean, river, and lake news from around the world. Thank you. Did you enjoy this broadcast from Global Ocean TV? Stay up to date with the latest ocean, river, and lake news by subscribing to our YouTube channel.